Pokemon is one of the most known and popular franchises out there, first starting the games, then the anime. Everyone knows about it, or at least heard of it, especially the most recognized ones. Now, shiny Pokemons are a rare variety of Pokemons that are differently colored than other Pokemons of their species. They still remain the same, however. But what about the most popular Pokemon out there? The Eevee line, or the Eeveelution. Now, Eevee is one of the most popular ones out there because of the way you can evolve it. Water, Fire, Thunder, Psychic, Dark, Plant, and Ice, and Fairy. What about their Shinies? Vaporeon and Umbreon's are pretty solid ones. You also got the worst ones, you have my personal favorite, you got the lazy one, and then you got the greens. One of the most loved ones is Umbreon, and the least loved one is Espeon. I get it, it's not appealing to go to violet to green, and it's mostly hated around kids. You know the ones. But before hating it, did you ever wonder why it's shiny and green? Espeon is a psychic type. Sunlight Pokemon opposite of Umbreon who's a moonlight Pokemon. Now, Espeon is one of my favorite Eevees and my third favorite Pokemon, mainly because of their origin and their moves. But what are Espeon's origin and what inspired Espeon? In Japan, there is a legend that says cats can turn into terrifying beasts. For that, a cat must respect some characteristics. They must be 13 years or older, must weigh more than 3.5 kilograms, and have a very long tail. The cat then has two possibilities of transformation. The Bakoneko or the Nekomata. The Bakoneko is a peaceful creature able to stand on its two legs, throwing fireballs and kill his master to take his place, and that's the nice version. While the Nekomata is a cruel one. It is if by misfortune the cat's tail had to split in two, taking the form of a fork. The Nekomata can control lifeless bodies, manipulate human thoughts, and above all, bring bad luck. The Pokedex referred to the telepathic powers of Espeon. The jewel on his forehead projects psychic waves in combat. Originally, he was not endowed with any particular skills, but he develops a gift of presence to defend himself, especially since the color associated with necromancy, which is often green, which explains the chromatic color, shiny Espeon. Now, a small definition of necromancy. The supposed practice of communicating with the dead, especially in order to predict the future. Espeon are able to read air currents, allowing it to predict the future as well as its opponent's next move. Because of that yokai in the olden days, several kittens ended up having their tails removed, since people were afraid that they would turn into the Nekomata. And there you have it folks. This is why shiny Espeon is now green. I'm really sorry for the English. English was not my first language and it's not the language I speak here. And I'm sorry for the mic quality if ever there's a problem because I'm currently, well, recording with my headphones. So yeah. Also, I'm, I'm sorry for uh, the way uh, I'm, I'm talking. Uh, it's just that um, I'm not used to record myself a lot. So yeah.